Welcome to DevOps interview question series from Knowledge Powerhouse. Let's go on to our next question. What is your favorite scripting language for DevOps? So this is a pretty popular question. And in any interview, you are expected to answer this question. And depending on your answer, you can expect some follow-up questions. And it varies uh, from person to person what answer you give, like because it's a favorite scripting language. So let's see what we can give as an answer, as a sample answer. So in DevOps, we use different scripting languages for different purposes. So before telling your own favorite script, you can specify that in DevOps, there are like multiple languages that can be used. So there is no single language that can work in all the scenarios. So since you work in DevOps, you might be knowing a little bit about multiple scripts and then more about one specific one. So, but we have to tell them about the multiple scripts. So some of the popular scripts or scripting languages that we use day to day are Bash, Shell Scripting, Python, Groovy, and Perl scripts. So these are like four main scripting and there are others also, but uh, like Ruby and there are some specific to the specific tools, those languages, but these four ones are pretty popular. So let's go through in detail with each of these, like what is the best use case for these scripts and when do we use them? So on Unix based systems, when we have Unix, uh, we use bash shell scripts and these are used for automating the tasks. We can like start a server, stop a server. So all those kind of uh, like custom things can be done using a bash shell script. You can clone something, so or copying the files. So all these things can be done using a bash shell script. It provides a very good support. And behind the scene, you can run any command with a shell script. Then we have Python. Whenever we have a complicated programming, we have large modules, then we use Python and there are standard libraries that can be used with python so that is a pretty much very extendable language so there are very good libraries like in data science and big data which are written in python so we can make use of all the standard libraries in python by just writing a very small script then we have groovy so groovy is a java based scripting language so behind the scene there is a java that runs so we need a JVM in the environment to use Groovy. So we need a Java machine to run this Groovy. And it is very powerful and it provides very powerful features also. And it's very fast to develop into the Groovy. So like compared to Java code, in Groovy, you can develop the things much faster. So that way, we can use Groovy also for working in a JVM environment where we already know the JVM installed. So we can use the Groovy easily. Then we have Perl. So this is another language that is very useful for text parsing. So in Unix, we have a lot of text parsing requirements. So all those can be done in Perl. And even in web applications, we use it a lot. So that way, all these four scripts, they have different uses. And you can use any of these for a specific task. In your role, if something is more like use, let's say you have more responsibility towards installation or more responsibility towards microservices, you can use the specific language for specific task. So that is your favorite language for DevOps.